Under the Freedom Tree by Susan Van Heck Illustrated by London Ladd 1861 May moon gleams bright as colonel's buttons Three slip out unseen Frank James Shepherd Scramble down the sandy bank Hearts drumming Eyes darting, knees trembling. Weathered skiff bobs in rustling rushes. Quick now and quiet. Stars hold their breath, and so do the three. Four miles from the old oak tree. Oars dip, no sound. Silver ripples. Steal away now, away. Away from camp and colonel's work, dragging, hauling, digging, stacking, until weary bones ache, torn fingers bleed. Away from rifles crack, cannon's loud roar, war. Away from southern soldiers who would own them, work them, beat them, sell them, keep them slaves forever. Glinting waves slap rotting wood, whispers low and shivery. What if we're caught? Shackles, the whip, soul down river, or worse. What will we find across the deep water? Better forward than back, think the three, as they course closer to the old oak tree. Brass moon fades and sun climbs high. Stars and stripes flutter. General squints, spits, strokes his chin, ponders the fate of the three. Frank James Shepherd. To his shores they came, wrapped in night, to stand bravely before him, heads bowed, hopes bold. And now comes Colonel's messenger under white flag of truce, high on his horse, here to fetch the three, two miles from the old oak tree. Tis the rule of the land, these United States. You must return our chattel. Chattel, persons as possessions, owned and used, like cows, pigs, dogs. General scowls, owl eyes narrow. People are property, muses he. Yet wait, these United States. Dear sir, says General, smooth as the tide, have you not heard? Twas only yesterday, Virginia withdrew, succeeded she did from the union of states so let it be known i do here claim and seize your chattel as enemy property contraband of war now are these three as springtime sun warms the old oak tree frank james shepherd three become forty william charlotte Waddy, then hundreds, then more, runaways, stowaways, barefoot, mud-crusted, better forward than back. Fortress fills, crowded they spill, beyond the high walls, beyond the stone gate, gathering old logs, scavenging rough planks, cobbling crude shanties, Slab town, they call it, and still they come in patches and tatters. They come and they come, a human stream, thousands upon thousands. George, Eliza, Harry, Peter, Sarah, David. 1862. Now slab town fills, crowded 
they spill into the ruins of a city once set aflame. Torched by Confederates, Hampton soldiers in ash, there in rebels rubble, scorched earth, scorched earth, charred timbers, burnt brick. They build and they build, grand contraband camp. Days are for union work, dragging, hauling, digging, stacking. Nights they fall, spent and hungry, on cold dirt floors. But here at Slabtown, here at the camp, they are not what they once were. Slabtown is their town, so too the Grand Camp. A home of their own, at first for the many, a home for them all by the old oak tree. Missionaries come, bearing Bibles and news. Worship God, sing praises, and pray. We shall teach your children. Reading, writing, so long forbidden. But how? But where? No schoolhouse at Slabtown, no books at the camp. Teacher, brave teacher, gathers them all. As war rages on, under cool leafy limbs float boys' and girls' voices. A, B, C. One, two, three. Sheltered in the shade of an old oak tree. 1863. New Year's sun, frost, a pewter plate sky. Hundreds bundle under strong, wide branches. Frank, James, Shepherd, and all who come after. Hearts drumming, eyes darting, knees trembling. Boy climbs on crate, long paper in hand. Hush now and quiet. Wind holds its breath, and so does the throng. With a voice clear, sure, and strong, boy starts to read. By the President of the United States of America, all persons held as slaves shall be then, thenceforward, and forever free. Tears rain down and shouts rise up to the tree's tallest tip, up, up to the clouds. We're free, we're free, lives changed forever from under the freedom tree. Hello friends, I hope you will pause this video and go through the author's notes with your students or children. I have many other books on the Civil Rights Movement on my channel, Storytime with Lorelei. I hope you will subscribe and come take a look at all the other books I have to offer. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.